I am Jack Hyland. Hi, I'm Sarah Chen. And my name's Maggie Lamack. I'm John Leyland. I'm Kelly Creel. I'm Ian Crowley. And I'm with Eco Explorers. And I'm here with Eco Explorers. And this is my second year with Eco Explorers in Gabon. This past few iterations of Eco Explorers has been a design build uh, course in a sub Saharan context. So, for the last couple of years, we've been partnering with uh, Gabonese communities. So, during uh, the semester uh, between January and May, about a dozen undergraduates uh, learn of, about interculturalism, sub-Saharan context, specifically Gabonese culture. They do some research projects about uh, everything from the food and politics to religion and sports. So in this case, they were prepared to build a, a water wheel uh, prototype to think about uh, making small amounts of electrical power using the rivers that are flowing by so many villages, building improved cook stoves. Um, which improves the air quality of people's homes and is a much more efficient way to burn wood. Hotter, quicker fires. Also, it elevates the wood fires off of the ground. So for a lot of elderly uh, folks in villages, it's, it's much easier on their backs and it keeps the smoke out of their faces. I can't speak too much French, but I could understand enough to know that someone told me that the stove that we built is extremely important for their village. and. You know, when we were working on the beehives, they were using wax, and someone said, no, no, use this. So this is exactly what this is for, is bringing people together with all of their individual knowledge to contribute and exchange. On this trip, we were able to kind of um, host a workshop and bring a lot of people to us and students at partner universities, professors at partner universities, and educate about the projects that we did last year and the ones that we did this year. That team of Michigan students, which our faculty colleagues at Libreville have dubbed the rouleau compresseur or steamroller that sort of opened up the road for the atelier, they were joined by teams of students from USTM and University of Libreville au Marbongo, University of Marbongo Libreville. And each of those Gabonese student teams had their internal dynamics between doctoral students and master's students who were having to learn to work together it was exciting, but it was intimidating at the same time because we were trying to bring so many stakeholders together. And while there was this total sense of excitement about how that was going to work, at the same time there was a bit of trepidation about how it was all going to work. We're really making this up as we go along in a sense, drawing from the very high capacity of Gabonese. They are very multilingual, they are very socially sophisticated, they are open to media about science and tech and environment. There are lots of ideas here. So we don't necessarily have to do what we've seen in other countries that we've worked in, which is to build a giant, you know, monolithic campus. There's a very strong, rapid deployment of solar in many countries around the world. Gabon would be ideal because it has very bright continuous uh, sunlight during the day, even when it's cloudy, the sun is plenty bright enough to, uh, to develop, uh, to extract energy from, uh, from the sunlight. And one of the things Gabon has is these amazing beaches and rainforests and historic sites like Schweitzer that makes people want to come here and have those experiences, right? Like it's, you're not just going to another university, you're entering a really rich environment for learning here. This program is not just a, an American program trying to come Hi. into Gabon. We are looking at this and we are operating this as a true partnership where we learn together, we design together, we create together, and we find solutions that are mutually beneficial. I think the hands-on sessions were super, super engaging and great. Um, the, the electric fence especially, so I feel so lucky to have been here. So are we ready? Yeah. Are we counting down? Is it turned on? Okay, the system functions, on y va, assure toi, deux, un, touche! <laughs> <laughs> If you do something with your hands and you get your hands on something, you're going to have a deeper understanding than if you just read it in a book or listen to a lecture. What I've seen in, on this trip uh, is, is a continuum of how energy inserted in, into this uh, community for the first time can really uh, improve.
improve people's lives. It went so far beyond my expectations of how it even have come together. The Kitchen Mamas were absolutely incredible. I mean, I've always come here and thoroughly enjoyed all the Gabonese cuisine I've had, but they just went over the top. The students are amazing. I mean, so intelligent and so warm. We're just so grateful for the partners that we've met and for the people that we've met and for their welcoming attitudes and their hearts of gold. We are looking forward to a long-term relationship with our friends here in Gabon and um, uh, uh, it's going to be, I think, uh, something that we will look back in 10 years from now and, and say it has been a success. Les échanges ont été vraiment très fructueux pour nous, euh, d'échanger pour la première fois avec les populations locales et de voir que ce projet peut s'intégrer dans leurs besoins quotidiens et même être porteur, générateur de revenus. Je prends la parole pour remercier d'abord l'Université de, de Michigan à travers euh, Raw French pour l'atelier qu'on vient de la participation à l'atelier qu'ils ont organisé à Lambarelli et qui nous a apporté beaucoup, qui nous a fait prendre conscience de, de, de certaines réalités qu'on semblait négliger chez nous. Euh, déjà remercier le programme Refresh d'être venu ici à Lambarelli. C'est un plaisir de partager et d'échanger avec euh, d'autres horizons et nous sommes très contents que ces échanges ont eu lieu et se sont terminés dans des bonnes conditions. Maintenant, ce que je peux dire, c'est que le programme Refresh est arrivé avec des technologies, notamment qu'ils utilisent, qui veulent mettre à la lumière et à la disposition des, des populations euh, ayant des ressources limitées. C'est une très bonne chose. Mais le souci, c'est le suivi et l'applicabilité, je, je pense. Parce que je, quand on amène ce genre de technologie, c'est une formation. Mais après, quand chacun retourne dans son lieu, à son lieu respectif, c'est terminé. On va seulement, Laurent lui, c'est « oui, j'ai assisté, on a appris beaucoup de choses. » Enfin, il n'y a plus de continuité, il n'y a plus de suivi. Donc ce que je souhaite, c'est qu'il y ait un suivi et que ce suivi soit fait de manière pratique. Dans les perspectives à venir, comme le disait le professeur Royer, pourquoi pas des échanges entre établissements d'enseignement technique et de refresh permettra dans l'amélioration de, des conditions de travail d'abord et des savoirs, des échanges de savoirs entre les établissements américains et gabonais. Donc, je remercie encore une fois refresh pour avoir organisé cet atelier. Merci. Yeah.